Next up is Sumesh, Sumesh Thakur. His supervisor is Dr. Jiju Puva, sorry, my mouth isn't working. Dr. Jiju Puvancheri. Uh, Sumesh is doing a Master's of Applied Science in the Mathematics and Computing Science program at St. Mary's University. His talk today will be dynamic object detection in 3D. So just give me a thumbs up when to start. You can start whenever you're ready. So just last Friday, we received heavy snowfall here in Halifax. And I remember I was driving back from my gym and I had this constant fear in my mind that I might hit something with my car. Not because I'm a bad driver. Don't listen to my girlfriend. I am a good driver. But visibility was close to zero at that time. And I believe a lot of people present here can relate to me on this problem. In fact, more than 350 Canadians lose their life every year in a car accident. And these stats are even worse in the United States, where a pedestrian is killed every 88 minutes. So should we blame the driver alone for these mishappenings? Actually, no. A casual observation of any city center will reveal scores of pedestrians crossing streets without proper awareness of their surroundings. And in those situations, there isn't much a driver can control or he can do. So luckily, a lot of modern manufactured vehicles are coming up with something called Advanced Driver Assistant Systems or ADAS for short. These systems are equipped with a large number of sensors that can monitor a field of view around the car for several meters and can warn driver in advance if there is a possibility of a collision. Although these systems work fine in normal conditions, but they fail terribly in extreme conditions like heavy snowfall, heavy rainfall, or nighttime conditions. Hence, my research is focused on developing a robust and accurate 3D object detection system for vehicles so that more and more pedestrian lives can be saved on the road. So unlike, mo uh, mo uh, unlike most of the uh, vehicle perception systems that rely on a single sensor, our system takes input from multiple sensors, fuse the information, filter the information out of them, and then pass them through a machine learning algorithm. The output from this machine learning algorithm is then refined again to get the final position of an object in 3D. Since we are only processing the filtered information, our model works in real time to match the demands of real life driving scenarios. And because the final position is in 3D, we can calculate an accurate time of collision. Although pedestrian detection is the main focus of my research, but we can have the similar results for cyclists, animals, and all other classes of on the road. So yes, I believe this model has, uh, can be the next all-in-one solution for vehicle perception systems and can help save more lives on road. Thank you.